All right. I've got my I've got my safety neighbor over here, <laughs> and I wanted to do a quick a quick little video because I know it's winter time, and people are getting their heaters out. And uh, I've I had an issue with this heater, and the issue was I plugged it in, look it's a Duraflame, and then a half hour later in the bathroom, just to heat up the bathroom. A half hour later, I went and felt this plug, and it was hot. This cord was hot, and I unplugged it, and this was malleable. This whole plug was malleable, and I'm showing this to my safety neighbor. <laughs> Dennis is a safety guy, instructor. And what is the first thing people should look for when they buy one of these, Dennis? Is it UL approved and double insulated? Double insulated. If it's a two-prong cord. But to me, that just looks chintzy. Yeah, it, 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 it seems is. like it should have three prongs. I found this at one of my properties. I'd never used it before, but I didn't think to look for that. It's not on there. It's, and it's a Chinese-made made in China. Well, everything's in China. Everything. That's Best thing you can do with this is throw it in the dump. Yeah. <laughs> I was really? telling I was telling Dennis I'm going to open it up and see if I can't change the cord. I it. love my neighbor. I don't want you to kill her. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> throw the damn thing away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when you when you're running your heater for the first time, watch it. Yeah. And don't and don't walk away from it. Right, Dennis. Exactly. It's the Never. same thing with Christmas tree lights. Unplug you know, them. Unplug them. Don't don't run them when you're gone because these the, those cords, mm -hmm. those those lights are not designed to, be to carry any kind of heat. And they yeah, you know, if you have it overloaded, it will carry heat. How and about those little, you know, the little tiny Christmas lights? Same thing. I'm not sure about that, but it's still they're designed for so many amps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you've got a lot plugged in, it could overload it. And I've got a video. I'll try to find and send you how quick a, a room will go up if a, if a Christmas tree can't just fire. Oh, yeah. It's under two minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it, this is... We used to burn the Christmas trees, our well, Christmas trees at the end of the season. Oh, yeah, and they explode. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> sap. Nothing but dry wood and sap. Yeah. Fuel yeah. and kindling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no. So, oh. yeah. Great. This is the time of year when so many fires occur, right? Yeah. Because of, yeah. of all of but this stuff. Could, and you may could replace this if it's, if it's sturdy enough wiring on the inside. You yeah. You can look at it. I'll open it up and see what the yeah. terminals look like for this. Yeah. If it's, if it's sturdy, I'll replace it because it's a nice little heater and it cranks out some heat. Yeah. Now, I've got one like this, and we used it all the time, but it's a heavier gauge cord. Yeah. And it's three pounds. Yeah. I have a little one in the bathroom that I use. Yeah, Jen said this is too big anyway, so yeah. it'll be something for the, the man cave or something like that. Okay. okay, so just to satisfy my curiosity, I open this up in the back. It's upside down right now. I took the back panel off, and uh, I learned something. I didn't know how they achieved this uh, illusion of fire. You see there's a light bulb there? Not to exceed 40 watts, it says. Uh, to avoid risk of fire. Well, gee, why didn't they put a, the proper size cord on there? The proper gauge. Uh, but look at that. So the light shines and hits those uh, strips of aluminum as they rotate on this little rotisserie. And then that goes through that uh, screen and appears to be flickering flame on this side, I guess. That's pretty cool. And so that wasn't where I would find access to the wire. See the wire goes through there all the way up front. And what I found, I took some screws off right here. There are about six, six or eight screws all the way around this thing. You see all the little screw holes? This is the heater. Right here. Uh, yeah, that just not... I'm not convinced that I would be able to put a bigger gauge on that. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I just don't trust this piece of equipment. It just seems very dangerous. All right, so now we know. And look, 
found the amperage 12.5 and I don't think I don't think this is heavy enough for that okay so I went and looked it up and this should be a 14 gauge like a 12 or a 14 gauge for that for that amperage uh, and this is I found it on here it's 16 gauge here you go this is an example this extension cord is 16 gauge. It's a two wire cord. And as a reminder, you don't ever want to use a, cord, a lightweight uh, household cord like this for something that draws a lot of amps. It's just, it's just very dangerous. All right. Well, thank you, Dennis. Absolutely. Thank Th you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be safe.